This is on the electrical property. I am going to show you how the semiconductors are created, how it is used in passing the electricity, how these things are done. Here is the index. I am going to talk about the conduction of electricity in metals. Conduction of electricity in semiconductors under that the electron rich impurities and electron deficit impurities. Finally, about the application of N type and P type semiconductors. The electricity is passed in the metals. I am trying to show you the mechanism of how the conduction of electricity in metals. Followed by the N type and P type conductors. If it is a n type semiconductor how the current is passed how the process is happening followed by the semiconductor is there i'm going to show you how the doping is done doping of semiconductors and we are going to discuss on the insulating properties how it reacts let's move on solid exhibits an amazing range of electrical conductivities extending over 27 orders of magnitude ranging from 10 power minus 20 to 10 power 7 per ohm per meter. Solids can be classified into three different types that is conductors, insulators and finally semiconductors. Conductors The solid with the conductivity is ranging between 10 power 4 to 10 power 7 per ohm per meter, they are called as conductors. Metals have conductivities in the order of 10 power 7 per ohm per meter, they are called as good conductors. We we'll move on to the insulators. These are the solids with very low conductivities. So, ranging between 10 power minus 20 to 10 power minus 10 per ohm per meter. Over here we got the other one which is semiconductors. These are the solids with the conductivities in the intermediate range of 10 power minus 6 to 10 power 4 per ohm per meter. Good conductor, semiconductor, non-conductor. That's your insulator.